14 tackles, two interceptions. Any surprise at all to get Conference Defensive Player of the Week? I mean, it was, it, it was a blessing and it was kind of a shock. But, you know, hey, we are, uh, you know, as a player, you prepare for, uh, for a game and, and, and it paid off. You know, all of us, uh, it was a great team effort, you know, great pressure up front. Caused the quarterback to throw a couple passes that he shouldn't have and, and made a couple plays when they present themselves and just try to run to the ball. And like Coach always says, when you run to the ball, good things happen. So. Can you walk through each of those plays on the interceptions, what you saw as it unfolded? Um, I was uh, off three, three block, being the running back. So I was kind of like a short hole player playing off the quarterback. Um, the first one, Taylor Reed got a great reroute. So through, uh, the re he actually rewrote both receivers and threw them off track and um, great pressure up front. And the quarterback threw one up there, and I just went up and, go, uh, and got it. So, you know, try to make plays. Sir. With Cameron Rogers being hurt and sitting out a lot last week with the shoulder, mm -hmm. how was your week of – practice and preparation different going into UTEP? Uh, not at all because the way um, Coach Mason uh, teaches us is to prepare like you're, like you're a starter no matter what uh, position you are. You know, um, Brandon Henderson did a great job when I went down with a cramp and filled in. We didn't miss a beat. So, I mean, we're all trained like that to uh, prepare like you're a starter no matter if you're number one or you're, you know, you're number four on the depth chart. So, I mean, we just we all take that approach. We have a lot of depth as linebacker and um, we just play hard. When you were studying the film of UTEP getting ready for Saturday's mm -hmm. game, did you see anything in their offense on video that led you to believe this would be a game where you guys as a defense could get a few turnovers? Um, we knew they uh, they played some tough opponents. We knew that they were going to be very physical up front. So we knew we had to come and be physical. And uh, we just knew, uh, like I said, um, we got our swag back kind of against TCU, you know, our personality. And we knew if we play our kind of ball and play physical and fast that we really could have success. And um, we did that. What was your biggest concern about the UTEP offense going in? Oh, um, yeah, they had a good running back, and um, they had a great uh, skill position in up front, actually. So we just knew that we had to come play our A game, and we knew we had to limit the big plays um, and uh, just kind of, you know, get on them early, you know, kind of kill the confidence. Being, uh, they were in the same position with us, you know, needed a win. So we knew that if we uh, didn't let them get the confidence going and killed it early, that we'll have um, some success. Obviously, any time a defense pitches a shutout, it looks really good. Right. But now that you've had a chance to study the film, talk to the coaches, how good overall was this defensive performance by your by your defense? Um, we played hard, we played fast, but there's always stuff you can always improve on. You know, we, uh, me personally, and, and, and other people, you know, we left a couple plays out there. You know, I could have had a third interception, a couple tackles, and um, you know, there's the coach showed us about ten plays that um, if we want to take our game to another level, that we have to convert those plays, and uh, we really felt that. Uh, you know, we just got to clean up a couple of techniques. But uh, overall, you know, if we play hard and we play fast and we tackle, we'll, we'll, um, we'll be successful most of the time. The coaches always talk about how, obviously, the most important thing is getting that win. You right. start out conference 1-0 uh, and now. But how important for the confidence and the psyche of this team was the shutout, too? Oh, that was big. You know, anytime you can get a shutout, it is, it's good. Because if they don't score, you know, it's, uh, we can win if we just put some points up uh, either way on both sides of the ball. And we feel that the offense did a great job. And uh, we, we feel that we, we if we have to score, we have to score no matter what. I mean, our job is not to let them score. And we have to do our job. And we know the offense is going to get their job done. And, and it's a great team effort. Coach Jones always talks about one of the joys of his season is when you win a conference game on the road going to Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. is Krispy Kreme any better after a shutout? Oh, Oh yeah, man. It, it, donut tastes a lot better, man. It, it's really, it's really good for a whole team just seeing us there, you know, enjoying that and and have the team morale. Just you know, everybody being excited on a tough place to win for for anybody. So uh, we definitely uh, enjoyed that. Pound for pound, who knocks down the most donuts on this team? Man, oh, that's a tough one, man. I don't know. A lot of us took home a couple boxes, so I mean, I, that's a toss up, man. So. Uh, I, I don't know, man. D-line, maybe O-line. Uh, it's kind of tough, man. It's a toss-up between them two. A couple linebackers, too, man. We all, we all were feeling good, too, man, after that. Is that part of the competition, too? Oh, yeah, man. Most tackles, most donuts? Yeah, something like that. We just, you know, we always compete in anything. It can be the video game to tackles to whatever. We just know competitions breed success. But that's our motto. You and the coaches always talk about uh, one snap and clear or mm -hmm. one game and clear. And that's obviously important after a loss. But mm -hmm. after you pitch a shutout, is it sort of harder to let go of it? Do you cling to it a little longer oh, yeah. and enjoy it longer when you win and get a shutout? Uh, like I said, um, like you said, one snap and clear. We have to move on. Now we're preparing for Tulane, and uh, we're trying to go one and zero this week. You know, if we take that mindset, you know, trying to get this win this week, and you know, we'll, we'll be pretty successful if we get go one and zero each week. You know, from here on out. So, I mean, that's our motto. And Tulane's the best team we're going to play this all this year because it's the team we're playing this week.